Hello, so in this video, I'm going to show you how Webony uses Vodaccio to test changes to our packages. Now, Webony is, is quite a big project. Um, and we also have, as well as the main repo, which you can fork and, and edit stuff directly on, on Webony, we've got a user created project, which people can create just using npx create Webony project, just like you can with Next.js or other things. So how do you make sure that when people run this, then they're going to get everything that they need and they're not going to encounter any errors? Well, we don't obviously we don't want to publish our packages publicly so that people can access them on NPM. What we need to do is use Vodaccio so that we can publish them locally to our local computer and test them there with the NPX Create Webony project. So I'm going to show you how, how we do that. So let's first of all, First of all, I've just um, made some changes in this um, package, in the UI package. I've just added a um, rudimentary little change here. This class name's been altered. I just wanted to check that this is not going to break anything. So I've now built, first of all, I've just built that package. So it's, it's now built ready for us to test. So, the, the, so we need to spin up Vodaccio, publish our, our changes there, and then test them with MPX. So how do we do that? Well, actually, the, all the information you need is in GitHub, Workflows, and Next Push, because, of course, we test this in the pipeline. So you need to just search for Vidaxio there, and you should see the first result actually should tell us how we should proceed. So let's go there. Right. First of all, we start the local Vidaxio server. So I don't need to do all of that because I've just got it here locally. and then pass it the config file, which is in the root for us already. There we go. That should start that. Right. Now, the next thing I need to do is configure the registry. Right. So at the moment, whenever you run um, npm or npx, it goes to registry.npmgs.org to get your packages. But we don't want it to do that. We want it to go to Vodaccio. So you can just run that command, set registry to 4873, which is the port that Vodachi was using here. Now, if I go here into my user root, you'll see that I have um, npmrc. Now I've got that here. So you see it's using the, the, the Vodachi instead of, instead of npm. Cool. Now, there's a little trick here. And I'm just going to show you this because I've already set it up. Now I'm on yarn version two. So I need to also do this, which is I need to also tell yarn to use that same registry as well, uh, because they have a different syntax from version two onwards. So if you're using yarn one, it's fine. It will pick it up from the NPM RC. But if you're using yarn two or greater, you'll also need to, to create um, a yarn RC in, in your user root folder. Cool. So the next thing is I don't need to do the git stuff. I need to release, I need to actually version the packages. So what I'll need, what that will do is it will use learner to create a new version of all of our packages. And um, it will make a commit to the repo and then do like a, a beta release kind of thing. So once that's done, it might take a minute or two. I'll show you what that has achieved. But it's really good that we've got all these commands set up and ready to use uh, in, in Webony. And we've got it all documented using this GitHub workflow. I find that really helpful uh, to refer to just if I need to go and go and get things together. All right, here we are. So there we go. So that's our release. And you'll see if you do a git, um, you'll just see that it's got that release um, commit, which we'll have to roll back later um, when we're undoing this. Okay. Right, now we need to publish to Vodaccio. Oh dear, okay, I'm just gonna stash my changes because I've, I've created the package now. I don't need to worry about um, that button that I, I didn't commit. Okay, right. Right, as you can see, it's working. Okay, now once that's done, 
You can disable Webly telemetry, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this command ready. Okay, so this is creating uh, a new Webly project with the next, um, and then it will also give it all of the op pass it all the options we need to test this. So I've got a couple of Webly installs. Yeah, so I'm just gonna run that there. Now I'm just gonna make it all in line because it doesn't work unless you do this. Right, okay. Test project, tag next. Right, okay, and then of course we don't have because there's that this was is for the pipeline where it's got access to some context, some environment variables and things, but we don't have those here. Okay, so what we need to do particularly is to replace the AWS region with our region of choice that we'd normally use. U them in London. Right, I'm just going to wait for this to do. Okay, that has successfully published my packages. So now I can actually use, start to create my user, user project using those parameters. Right, I'm not going to demonstrate as it goes through that, but it should create me a new Webney project with this new tag. Um, that will allow me to test my changes and then make any necessary alterations to my code and make sure it's tested thoroughly and before committing that change. Great stuff. Okay, right. Now let's pretend that that's all done, right? And that we've tested our project, got some changes to make. So how do we now change back so that we no longer use Vodaccio. Well, first of all, um, let me just stop that because otherwise it will complain. Stop Vodaccio, point the registry back to npm.js. So um, run this command, npm config set registry back to registry.npmjs.org. And of course, um, you need to do the same for your learner one. So your yarn one, if, you, if you're using that. And then we roll back the commit that we made um, to release the new uh, pro new uh, the new packages. So I'm just going to git reset hard head for that one, and you'll see I don't have any changes there anymore. And then I also delete the tag. So this creates a, a release tag. Um, but what you'll find is if you then uh, are testing this a bit later, then it might uh, throw a wobbly because it's already got this tag. So I'm just going to delete that so that it's all clear and I don't need to worry about it anymore. And that is the final step. We are communicating back with uh, npm.js as a re repository, but I hope that helps you to see how you can use um, Vodaccio to test your projects locally um, before publishing them to, to npm. Great stuff.